Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's Friday, December 16th. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. Uh, quiet trade here into these markets as you don't have a whole lot of new news out there. Uh, you know fundamentally that there's a big crop coming out of Brazil. You're questionable about Argentina. We're coming off a large crop. We know demand is strong. Uh, so really, it seems like right now you're just in a technical trade point for these commodities, especially soybeans. They've bounced off that 1020 level yesterday and today. Uh, for the week, corn closed up three and three quarters cent, um, only down a quarter of a cent here today. So very quiet trade into corn this week. Uh, soybeans, they closed up seven and three quarters cent on the day. On the week, they were actually down three quarters of a cent. So once again, these markets were so quiet this week. Uh, Chicago wheat steady on the day, but up nine cents on the week. Uh, Minneapolis up six and a half cents today. That puts it up eight and a half for the week. And Kansas City, probably the biggest gainer here, closing up two cents, but almost up 20 cents on the week. So some supported into those markets as well. Meat markets, probably the biggest movers besides, you know, you just didn't have that movement in grain, but you did here in uh, the livestock and hogs. Uh, they've been on a tear here lately. Uh, live cattle up two bucks on the day. They are up $3.60 on the week. Feeder cattle up two twenty on the day, up almost four dollars on the week, and then biggest mover is live cat or lean hogs up two thirty on the day, up just shy of eight dollars on the week after posting a really big uh, week last week as well. So really, the cattle market and, and lean hogs, they seem like there's buyers interested in here. The numbers haven't been showing up. Um, we have next week a cattle on feed on the 23rd. That might offer a little bit of support here, but we have all of next week trading to really give us. You did get a close above 115 on that live cattle and that triggers a technical trade as well. Outside markets, really limited movement after you had cattle or you had FOMC two days ago and things really seem to calm itself after that. Not a whole lot of movement today in those markets as well. But for the week, Dow market up 124 points. That continues to rally since election night. Uh, the US dollar up 230 on the week that's probably the biggest mover there you know you're above 103 now futures and that puts some pressure on our commodities specifically corn and wheat markets uh, that might play a role here down the road not right now really but down the road uh, that might play a little bit of role on our export numbers for corn and wheat as uh, those two commodities are really grown in large scales other areas as well and when you put our dollar ratio into it with other currencies that makes our grain a little bit more expensive versus let's say eus or um you know, going over into those areas. So uh, that's something to watch for. And then crude market actually up 31 cents on the week. It had its big moves a couple of weeks ago, but continues to be supported as OPEC does look like they're gonna make those cuts. Um, and it's locked in for about five to six months as far as those cuts go, trying to just make the surplus um, come down a little bit and get those prices back up to help the economy. Uh, in a lot of those uh, countries, they depend on oil prices. Uh, moving forward, what you're gonna be watching is see if demand sticks around and then coming in to see what you see before holiday trade here before Christmas. I do have to close with a disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.